Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you. This show is all about hearing this week, so I was just warming up my voice. Oh! Hey, can you sing me a song? Oh, sure. Right. Oh, say can you see by the, 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 The week is done and it's time for fun. Welcome to the Friday Zone, everybody. I'm Maddie. And I'm Taylor. <laughs> the name of today's show is Hear the Music. Ooh, that's right. And to start things off, here's a song about the ear on the Friday Zone playlist. Did you get it? <laughs> I, I like my that. Ear, I think. Hear you. So we've got these things on the side of our face. They help us communicate and find our place. Audition is the term for perception of sound. And audition is what's up. You down? So the sound from my mouth has been captured by your mic sent electronically at near the speed of light. Your computer door then forms sound bites. Pumping through your speakers, does it sound all right? What happens is the air from the speakers get pushed. Several times a second, a vibration rush. Waves like ripples of a stone in the lake float to your face but hit home in the brain. The wakes penetrate to the drum and it shakes. The nerves at the base hit the brain in a race. The brain then explains to the woman or man what the sound was the best that it can. Like I said, it's a drum, the tympanic membrane. Such a delicate device, good thing the pressure's maintained by the eustachian tube that continues to the mouth where the excess pressure is pressurized. Oh, your canal's tiny, but it works oh so well. Thanks to two receivers, both of them shaped like a shell. The middle ear consists of a membrane and a drum. The eustachian tube plus some ear bones are fun. And the middle ear's crazy, look at those bones. Drum and hammer sound like techno songs. We got an anvil and a stirrup plus some oval windows. Once these words disappear, I'll show you how that goes. So the bell swells the air and the air hits the hammer, which then stirs the stirrups in the craziest manner. But that's not the maddest, no, no, the maddest is here. Welcome to the labyrinth of your inner ear. The labyrinth is glazed with a maze of hollow tubes, semicircular canals to be exact, and they're used to maintain our balance. And they are not for audition, but the cool parts this shell, I promise. Now listen. In. The cochlea contains the mechanism you've been waiting for The sights that sends the sound waves to the brain core There's a teeny tiny bone there called the modiolus Filled with silly amounts of nerves rolling messages in motion The nerves like computers send signals to the brain They draw it here like a symbol but it's so much more insane You can tell that this happens but it's still nuts right? Like little satellites vibrating all day and night? Earlier I said that ears hear like a mic, but comparing the two would be like shoes to a bike. Or more like shoes to the flight of an F-16 jet. Ears are more advanced than anything that we've invented yet. Enjoy the sound bounce. Be glad that we have it. Cause it's chemistry and physics, but it's also magic. Hey, welcome back everybody. We are joined by some nurses here from the Indiana University School of Nursing. Thank you guys so much for coming in. You want to go around and uh, say your names real quick? Yeah. I'm Hillary. I'm Morgan. I'm Miriam. Nora. I'm Katie. Cool. I'm Taylor. I'm Maddie. 
So, uh, we just watched this really great uh, music video about sound waves in the ear and stuff like that. Uh, we're talking about hearing the music today. Uh, can we talk a little bit about how sound waves work? Sure, I can talk to you about that. So sound waves actually allow us to hear. You may think that you hear sounds instantly, like uh -huh. the snap, that's pretty quick, right? It actually takes just a little bit of time for the sound waves to get to your ear. They travel in one direction from the object that makes the noise to your ear. How long does it usually take? Um, is it, I mean, is it literally like, like a, a millisecond? Split? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's pretty fast. It's really, really fast, okay. obviously. <laughs> and so it travels in a wave-like formation, so it goes up and down. And we have a slinky that we can show you. Ooh. So Hillary's going to help me. Okay. She's going to take fun. one end. It's multi-colored <laughs> Yeah, and <laughs> I'm just going to talk. Like <laughs> I'm going to talk, so I'm making the sound. And then just watch what the slinky does. And this represents what a sound wave actually looks like since you can't see it. Okay. Hello. Then I hear the sound. Ah, oh, it cool. travels in, in a, wave. a wave sound oh, yes. wave. That's pretty cool. <laughs> cool, okay. Um, well, wait, I have a question. Yeah. Because Taylor doesn't really know how to clean his ears oh, yeah. correctly. <laughs> I'm just, you were talking about it earlier. Maybe I shouldn't have said it. It's okay. Um, anyway, so is there a proper way to clean your ears? Well, I'll talk about that. Um, you don't want to use Q-tips. because really? it can further, Really? It can further damage your ear. Oops. It can... It can push the earwax down deeper, even push bacteria and maybe cause an ear infection or even rupture of the ear. So what we typically um, want to see is just use a warm washcloth and just kind of, yeah. maybe after a shower or a bath yeah. and just kind of wipe the outside. And I've heard of these things, can, can, I've heard of these like uh, earwax, earwax drips or something, oh. like, something like, like where you can like, I've, I've had friends who have been able to just like, do these drip things and then like you can pull it out. I've never what? seen that. I've heard about your wax candles, but that's yeah. not yeah, it. That, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, thinking okay. of Shrek. Yeah. Um, okay, so so uh, that, those are ways to clean the ear. Yes, uh, what uh, what, what you... happens if you don't clean them correctly? Um, you can get infection or it, like a wax buildup, so maybe. I've never gotten an ear. Um, Have you gotten an infection? I've one? never, my brother gets them all the time. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. You okay. actually get more when you're younger because there's like little tubes in your ears. Yeah. So, and they're smaller when you're younger, so it's more, e it's easier to yeah. get an yeah, yeah, um, And we have, we, you, we have, we have this great model ear that you guys brought in and we can Correct. see what it yes. looks like. Right. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so, we, oh, let's just say, out? okay, someone has an ear infection, they'll either have like a fever, they can't hear very well, or it's just, it just hurts. So they'll yeah. go to the doctor's office and they'll use this thing called an otoscope. Mm -hmm. And what they do is they'll just turn it on and they'll see a light. And then, Miriam, if you want to come okay. over here, mm -hmm. they just kind of pull the ear back and just kind of look inside the ear. Is it clean in there? Is it clean? It's very clean. <laughs> clean. Yeah. And then, um, <laughs> so that's what, this is what's uh, showing right here. So if you want, okay. we'll show you um, an example of a, just a normal ear? Yeah, let's okay. let's see what normal ear looks like. And that's right there. All right. And then it's a good looking ear. We'll go oh, there it is. And then we'll go to. Um, that's that's regular. Just a regular ear. Just that's a tympanic membrane, which oh, we with... call it as an eardrum. Okay. And you can see how gray the yes. eardrum actually is in this one. And that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. that's okay. Good. Let's see what a bad ear looks like. An ear infection. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's look at that. All right. All right. Oh! <laughs> that's, so what's, what's going on there? Why why did that happen? <laughs> um, well, when you get an ear infection, Ugh. you can usually experience some pain, a fever, and also uh -huh. muffled hearing because bacteria blocks the little um, tunnels that are inside of your ear. Okay. So this is how your ear usually hears things, nice and clear like this drum. Yeah. However, this blanket would represent the germs that are inside those tunnels, uh -huh. and it blocks the vibrations from the oh. vibrations. So, so when you get an ear infection, muffled. you cannot hear with that ear because of all those germs and bacteria. Not you might well. be able to hear, hear but just bit. it's muffled, yeah. Okay, okay. And, and so the coloring wise, when we're looking at this ear infection image, um, it went from the uh, so nice gross. and clear, and clear, nice and clear, and now it's all it's in flame, so it's going to have that redness. Uh, okay, Ugh, nasty. Can we can we see some some more ears? You got any more, you got any nasty ones on there? That's a really <laughs> gross one. You know, I had a friend, uh, she ruptured her ear, her ears. I remember oh, and they were like. How does that happen? It just like explodes or? I don't know. Um, as I told you, if you use Q-tips, it can, if you get down deep enough, you can rupture your eardrum. And that's that tympan, that nice little tympanic yeah. membrane, you can rupture it and then you have to She was actually, I know mean, this is kind of gross, but she actually was bleeding from her ear. Yeah, right. Right. also it's a bad. change it's of serious. pressure, like jumping. Um, like it's, airplanes? It's, um, right. Into or, like a lake or a pool. Yeah, my dad yeah. busted his eardrum that way. 
It uh, happens. He fell off of a jet ski. And, and I know a lot of people can get uh, ear infections really easily. A lot of a lot of kids too, right? Yeah. We said that right. Earlier, so. Okay, what is this oh, one? That What's this? That's... It's a, it's a, just another image of the. Oh. Is that earwax? What is that? Ooh. It's the tympanic membrane. It's just it's a little bit. It's a different it's image nasty. of it. It's like so. a nasty. gross jello. Right. <laughs> uh, um, this ruined jello. For you. Do you have any? Do you have any more? We can't if I. Yeah, you get out of that one. Let's see. The ear um, helps you balance a lot in your body. So if ah. your eardrum does rupture, um, or if you have something wrong with your ear, you could be off balance and mm -hmm. you know walk funny and stuff. So. How how do you go about preventing ear infections? That's ear well, she was talking about with the cleaning, cleaning. and then also, Marion, what were you gonna say? You can just stay away from people with colds. Okay. Avoid cigarette smoke, wash your hands, and don't touch your nose and eyes. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for yeah, coming in. This was so you. great. That was so cool. And guys, Thanks stick for around us. for some more fun coming on in Ooh. in the Friday Zone. In the Friday Zone. Hello, everybody. My name is Sam Bartlett, and today we have another stunt from the world of stuntology. And Today, it's a stunt and a musical instrument all rolled up into one. Let me explain. First of all, we need this tiny instrument right here, which is a jaw harp. Strange looking thing, has one moving part, and yet when you pluck on it, no sound happens. That's because in order for that sound to happen, you have to put it up against your mouth, against your teeth, get your lips away, you pull on the spring, it makes the air inside your mouth vibrate. This is one of my favorite sounds. I got one when I was about nine years old, and I tormented everybody in my family with it, everybody in my school, and it's such a great sound. You can make all these different sounds. You can also make rhythms with your breathing. You can also say your name. A great instrument and a great stunt all rolled into one. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you knocking. It was a hearing joke. Get it? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Mark is back with a fun and musical project. You'll need a cardboard tube, scissors, wax paper, and a rubber band. All you need to do is tear out a piece of wax paper and using the rubber band, secure it to the end of your cardboard tube. Cut a small hole near the end of the tube, and voila, you've just created your very own super annoying musical instrument. Play us something, Mark. Wow, bravissimo, bravissimo, encore, encore. In the Friday Zone. Hey guys, I've got all my friends here on the couch with me today. How you guys doing? Good. 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 And we've got one older friend over here. Mark, how you doing? Pretty good. Good. Now, Mark is an engineering technology professor at Purdue University. Now, Mark, today's show is all about hearing the music. Mm -hmm. So, what does engineering technology have to do with music? Well, somebody has to make those guitars. Somebody has to design them and run the factories that make them. So what I do is I teach my students how to design and build guitars. But while they're doing that, they're really learning how to design and build just about anything. So even though they started with guitars, they might wind up building airplanes or boats or cars or something like oh. that. So tell us about your first guitar and then tell us about the guitars you make now and the difference. Well, the first time I did it, I didn't know what I was doing. There was no real books I could find and nobody to talk to. So I looked at pictures and guessed a lot. And it kind of worked, but not very well. And as I, like anything else, when you practice, you get better. So I got yeah. better. 
And then I eventually started writing books, and teaching other people how cool. to do this. That's awesome. So, and you have some guitars with you. Mm -hmm, I do. Let's take a look at some of those. Well, can you go get me the great big one in the middle? All right. And now, anybody know what kind of guitar that one in the middle is? Um, yeah. Is it like a country guitar? Yeah, pretty close. It's yeah. an acoustic guitar. Acoustic guitar. How about if I sit out here? Okay, yeah, it's great. All right. Ah, big help. Thank you. All right. This is an acoustic guitar, and you're right, lots of country people play this, uh -huh. country musicians. And it's got some electronics in it, and the, the electronics come out there. Okay. But I can play this even without an amplifier. And you know why? Because it's got this body. Ah. All right. Here's what it does. Okay, I've got a tuning fork. I've got to bang it on something here. My head's pretty hard if you want to. Okay. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Now let's try this. Now you can hear it, can't you? Yeah. Should we try that again? Yeah, yeah let's do it again. That was again. pretty cool. Okay, and I'll tell you why that works. Okay, can't hear it? Can hear it. Cool. Yeah, why is that? What's going on is this thing is vibrating, but it's so small, it can't push any air around. This, when it vibrates, has all this area here, and this can push air around. Okay. So when the strings vibrate, they make the whole body vibrate, and you can hear it even without electronics. And that's what you guys are design designing. Well, it's one of the things, yeah. yeah. So, I don't have to plug it in. Now, I can if I want to. If that's not loud enough, I can plug it in right there into mm -hmm. one of those amplifiers. And what is an amplifier? Anybody know what an amplifier is? No. No? You know, like a big speaker? Well, that's part of it. There's a speaker in the amplifier, and there's also some electronics that makes the little bit, there's just a tiny bit of electricity that comes out there. It's called a signal. Okay. Signal is just electricity that means something. Uh -huh. The signal comes out of there, won't even drive earbuds. But it goes into the amplifier, and the amplifier gives it a lot more power so it can drive a speaker. And you brought an amplifier with you? You bet. There's a brown one right over there. Would you mind going and get, getting me the little brown amplifier over there? This is one I made out of some parts I designed and some parts I bought. Oh, cool. So, and I made a box. Yeah, that's a really and cool we, box. And we, we colored it with Sharpies. Oh, My nice. friends and I colored it with Sharpies. Nice. So if we take the top off, oh, wow. there's what's inside an amplifier. See, there's circuit boards in there. Uh-huh. And the circuit board that powers these two speakers. Ah. And these two speakers are what we hear. Can we, can we plug this into a guitar? Sure. Cool. And then hear what it sounds like? You guys want to do that? Sure. Yeah, sure. let's try it out. Well, uh, what kind of guitar would, do we want to use? I don't know. Let's, let's, do you want to use Okay, let's use the brown one. Okay. The red one? The red one? You guys, the red one? You want the red one? It's unanimous. Okay. The red one. The red one. Okay. We're on the red couch. Might as well get the red guitar. guitar. Sure. <laughs> A friend of mine made this. His name's Doug. Can you hold oh, it? Oh, cool. Well, okay. can you plug that in for me? All right. Put it right there. Now, okay. Charlie, you had a question for Mark. What was your question? How come in the acoustic guitar it's got a hole and they get louder, but this one doesn't, you know, but it's still loud? Uh-huh. Well, you're right. It's loud, but it's only loud when you plug it in. Because this one doesn't have that nice, big, flexible body like this does. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Okay, and I can play the strings. It doesn't really make that much noise because the strings aren't pushing any air around, mm -hmm. and the body's not flexible enough to do it. So we have to do, there's got to be some other way to make this work. And that's the little white thing right there. That's called a pickup. It's magnets and wire. And what that does is that listens to the string. And that, see the pickup? Right there. And what this pickup does is it listens to the strings and it makes a little electrical signal that comes out there. Uh -huh. And we'll put it in there and gain it up enough that we can hear it through the speakers. Cool. Shall well, we try it? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. Are we plugged in? Make a noise. Yeah, you guys hear it now? You can hear it a lot better now. It's got that rock sound too. A little blues, a little bit of the blues. Okay. You built this amplifier, mm -hmm. and you are actually going to teach us how to make our own guitar? I am. Cool. And we will check that out right after this. Welcome to the Earth Eats Test Kitchen. My name is Heather, and today we're going to be making PB and B honey wraps. PB and B? Yeah. Wait, Heather, we're putting peanut butter and bananas. Yeah, it's a great combination. Did you know, Heather, 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 did you know that monkeys eat bananas? Does Felix eat bananas? Well, did you call Felix a monkey? No. 
Now, Felix likes bananas because Felix loves monkeys. They are Felix's favorite animal. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. That's good. I like monkeys too, so, and so I like bananas. How, how, how do we how do we make the the, the PB and B honey wrap? Well, the fun part, the first part, is uh -huh. you get a banana uh -huh. and peel it, and uh -huh. you can do this. This is easy to do. Okay. Okay. And you get a small bowl, uh -huh. and we're gonna mash the banana. <gasps> mash? What does mash mean? Well. Here I am, and I'm peeling it. I'm going to put it in the bowl. Okay. okay. Really easy. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. can do this. Okay, okay. And then I'm going to get a fork or a spoon okay. and just gently mash it. Oh, oh like, like you are mixing it. Yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, you, oh, oh. Head, Look at that. Oh, Heather, you're, you're smashing the banana. I am. Oh, oh, look. It's really easy. Yeah, you can yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Next, I'm going to get some peanut butter, and I'm just going to put a little bit down the center. Okay, okay. Do you like a lot of peanut butter or a little peanut butter? Uh, uh, Felix likes a lot of peanut butter. Well, that's yeah, good yeah. because I have a lot of peanut butter. But, but, but Hedda, I have a question. While you do that, what, what, if, what if you can't eat peanut butter? Because some of Felix's friends can't eat peanut butter. Yeah. What do you put on the wrap if you can't eat peanut butter? That's a good question. You could use any nut butter. You could oh. use almond butter, which is oh. really good for you. Yeah. Cashew butter, whatever okay. you like. Okay, okay. It's easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heather, you are, you are good at putting the peanut butter on the wrap. Yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah, Felix. Yeah. And I'm going to use honey. <gasps> I love honey. It gives it a little bit of sweetness. I'm yeah, just going to put a little yeah, down yeah, the center. Yeah. Heather, Heather, you are sweet like honey. <laughs> oh, thank you, Felix. You're welcome. You're welcome. And that's all I do there. And I'm okay. just going to put on a little bit of mashed banana. Okay, okay. I say you could use the whole thing. Okay, But yeah, it's yeah. up to Let's you. Let's use all the bananas. I'm going to use it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know, Heather, 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 did, did you know that bananas have potassium. They yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And, and potassium is good for you. Yes. It yes, is. Yes. You know a lot about food. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well Felix likes to eat a lot. <laughs> That's good. I like to cook and I like to ah, eat. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And now we're done. <gasps> okay. It's all wrapped up tightly. Okay, okay. And I'm going to cut it in half. <gasps> And you can see the inside. <gasps> we get to see the inside. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you could use a butter knife. Okay, yeah, because because a butter knife isn't as sharp as some of the other knives. Oh, yeah. it's not sharp at all. Yeah. It's just right for you. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And perfect. there you go. <gasps> Peanut butter, banana, and honey wraps. <laughs> hey, everyone. Here's that recipe again. <gasps> you can write it down. Oh. Or go to our website and watch Earth Eat right on your computer. Yeah, eating smart is more than easy. It's super simple. Hey, it's me, Bub. Don't you know I have 12 fingers? That's why I'm a great pianist. All right, and we're back with Mark. Now, Mark is going to show us how he makes some of his guitars. We have Kiara with us to help out. So, Mark, let's get to work. Okay, this is the simplest stringed instrument there is, and it's called a diddly bow. I don't know who named it. It wasn't me, but I, I like the name. <laughs> so, remember the white thing on that red guitar over there? Mm -hmm. We've got another white thing just like it. That's a pickup. And what's in there is there's magnets and a bunch of wire wrapped around. There's almost literally a mile of wire inside this thing. And so the wire comes out, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this, okay. and we're going to set this up so we can plug it in. So I'll get that put together. Yeah, this is, this is pretty basic, but it'll work just fine. Cool. So I've got, now I've got the pickup talking to the output jack is what that's called. What, what don't I have yet? I don't have a string yet, do I? Well, I'm going to fix that. This is what guitar strings look like. They're real, real tiny and they're shiny, the metal oh. ones. Are, there's a little ball on the end there. The ball on the end of this one's purple, which I like. And to make sure this, the ball doesn't pull through, I glued a penny to the back. And I drilled a little hole in the penny. So I drilled a little hole right through <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> All right? If I don't do that, the string might pull through. That's true. So I'm going to put the string through there. Okay. Pull it through here. See, now that that, that ball end won't pull through, uh -huh. Abe's helping me out. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run this over this little thing. This will, I call this a bridge. Okay. And I'm going to wrap it around this little, I've got a stainless steel screw there. Nice and tight, right? Nice and tight. That's not going to come loose now, I don't think. Okay. Get out of the way here. And I've got another little bridge, so I'm going to stick that on. 
And I put a little piece of sandpaper there to keep the bridge from sliding. That's a good idea. So there, what do we think? Is that? It's starting to look a little bit Here, like a guitar. Pluck that. Pluck it, Yura. Give, give it an old strum. Yeah. The plug. Here. Oh, wow, look okay, at that's that. That's not bad, no. not, but it's not as loud as it could be, is it? All right, so should we plug it in? Let's plug it in. Okay. All right, Kira, got my cable. Okay, you plug this into that. Okay, push. There you go. Uh, got it plugged go. in on Good that job. end. And I'll get it plugged in on this end. Okay. Okay, plug that. Can you guys hear it? That's really cool. Well, so far we can only play one note, right? Yeah. Do you want to fix that? Let's fix that, because I don't want to just play one note. OK. What I can do, this is a, a piece, of, a tool I stole from my lab at school. Wherever I put this on the string, that's going to be the end of the string. So watch this. <laughs> that's awesome. So really, you only need one string. Yeah, yeah. You only need one string. Okay, you try it. You want to try it? And take the pick. There you go. And you pluck it anywhere. <laughs> See, well, this is how you can tell that the pickup's listening to vibrating metal. If uh -huh. I tap that. It's there. picked. You, you can, can hear, hear that over amp. there? Yeah. Here, you try it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's awesome. That, now, is that fun or not fun? Yeah. You just need a block of wood and yeah. the right parts. This and... is just a block of wood I made. <laughs> now, I had this in my, in my shop at school, mm -hmm. and I've got boxes of those. But if you need to find one of these, maybe you could find one at a garage sale or eBay or someplace. Yeah. Or maybe you could go to a guitar shop and say, do you have an old pickup that you don't really need anymore? Cool. Maybe you'd sell me real cheap. And you can yeah. make one of these. Well, thanks for teaching us how to make our own guitars, Mark. And actually, you made guitars for everyone else here, We, we right? did. I helped. This is a friend of mine named Tom made these, and I have a CNC laser in my lab, and he Ooh. has one too, so we lasered out guitars. So my friend Tom made me a, a stack of these on his laser, and so I thought maybe you guys would like to have little guitars to bring back with yeah, you. Yeah, well, we'll pass okay? those out. Guys, remember to live, learn, and play the Friday's own way. We'll see you here next week. Who wants a guitar? Hey. Everybody wants a guitar. All right, let's pass right, these out. Let's pass these out. All right. All right you want these it? are cool. There you go. Here you go, Zoe. Production support for the Friday Zone is provided by Southern Indiana Pediatrics, part of IU Health Southern Indiana Physicians. For decades, parents in our community have trusted their children's care to Southern Indiana Pediatrics. Learn more at siphysicians.org. The Margaret A. Cargill Foundation and by WTIU members. Thank you.